reflects a new resolution in the financial tug of war between the state of Oklahoma and the state's largest online charter school. The state board of education voting unanimously to withhold more than $9 million from the district after a year long review of its spending. News Force Caitlin Ogle is on the story tonight. Caitlin. Well, the state auditor and the state superintendent says the $9 million will be withheld from Epic over a 12 month period. Instead of the money going to Epic, the funds will instead go to other districts. While the superintendent calls this process long, challenging and frustrating, she also believes Epic's new administration wants to, the, to do the right thing. It shows that they're moving in the right direction and doing the things that I think um, put Epic on, on strong footing. An agreement between the state and online charter school Epic is met. Thursday, the State Board of Education voting unanimously to withhold more than $9 million from Epic charter schools for improper spending, while the district has agreed to return $20 million in all to the state. All of these funds will be then sent back to other districts. These were funds <clears throat> that belong to other districts. An attorney for the board saying a 2020 investigation found the publicly funded district did not use state funds correctly and had been overpaying Epic's founders, Ben Harris and David Cheney. State Auditor Cindy Bird says for every tax dollar that came through Epic's door, Harris and Cheney took 10%. State law says the cap is five. Inconsistency does not begin to describe it. They have no reason to dispute. 9.11 million. Last year's explosive audit uncovering what Bird called deeply concerning mismanagement of money, forcing Epic to face contract termination. Since then, the district claims to have made changes within its organization and administration. I personally think it seems like the current administration wants to do the right thing. Epic posting a statement on Facebook saying it appreciates the work of the board and investigators, adding, quote, it is our responsibility to right the wrongs that occurred. State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister calling the road to Thursday's agreement, quote, long, challenging and frustrating, adding state education dollars should support student learning, not corporate profits. And Epic co-founders have since left Epic, but recently filed a lawsuit claiming Epic owes them $7 million, but the auditor's office says those demands lack documentation.